For most people, South Padre Island in Texas is usually associated with rowdy spring break parties. With booze cruises and beach beers and all the shenanigans, you see in all those movies about the American college experience. South Padre Island is definitely one of those destinations. Not only is it a great destination for people who love the heat and the outdoors, but it's also a year-round destination that can appeal to everyone from spring breakers to families with kids. Here are the top 10 things to do in South Padre Island. Rent a paddleboard. I'm so happy that paddleboarding has taken off and become as popular as it has. Not only is it a great way to be out on the water, but paddleboarding can be a great workout, too. There are quite a few rental options when it comes to getting a board and heading out to explore South Padre's canals and Laguna Madre, but my pick is Air Padre. They are more well-known for their kiteboarding lessons, but they also rent paddleboards, kayaks, jet skis, and more. Go horseback riding on the beach. Another great morning activity is a horseback riding tour with Island Adventure Park. To get there, you have to leave the town and drive down South Padre Road 100, a road surrounded on both sides by sand dunes, which in itself is pretty cool. Once you get there, you're paired up with a horse and are ready to ride in no time. The riding tour lasts about 90 minutes and has you riding along the quiet beach and up into the dunes. Explore the island in a scoot coupe. It may look a bit weird, but driving around in a little scooter car called a scoot coupe was another of my favorite activities on South Padre Island. These tiny little cars may look a little ridiculous sharing the road with huge pickup trucks, but I assure you that they are so fun to drive, and they can actually go more than 40 miles per hour. Learn about turtles at Sea Turtle Inc. While driving around in our scoot coops, we made sure to stop at Sea Turtle Inc., a facility on the Laguna Madre that aims to rescue, rehabilitate, and release injured sea turtles. They also protect sea turtle eggs and release hatchlings back into the wild. Visiting the facility, you can see some of the turtles currently in rehab, as well as a few permanent residents that can't be released because of amputations and other disabilities. Look for birds on the boardwalk. Want to go on a nice walk that doesn't include sand? Head over to the Laguna Madre Nature Trail near the South Padre Island Convention Center. This 1,500-foot boardwalk crisscrosses marshland near the Laguna Madre and is a great place to spot lots of different bird species. It's also an incredibly beautiful and peaceful place for a walk. Cook your own catch. For the fishermen among you, South Padre Island offers up many opportunities to fish for trout and redfish in the Laguna Madre. If you go out in the morning, you can bring your catch back, clean it, and then take the fish to a couple of different restaurants to get it cooked up for lunch. Take to the skies in a parasail. Parasailing is really fun, and just the right amount of adventure for many people. We went parasailing with breakaway cruises, which was a great way to see South Padre and the Laguna from above. Go on a dolphin watching cruise. One of the most popular family-friendly activities on South Padre Island is going on a dolphin-watching cruise. The cool part is that you don't have to go far at all, there are hundreds of bottlenose dolphins that call the Laguna Madre home. This also means that you're almost guaranteed to see some dolphins on your cruise, which makes it a great value. See the sunset at Pier 19. Looking for a good place to eat that's also a great sunset spot? Look no further than Pier 19, which is definitely both. The quirky restaurant complex spreads out along the pier, and the actual pier portion at the end is a great spot for watching the sunset. Watch fireworks at Louis' Backyard. Lastly, if you're visiting South Padre during the summer months, you can catch fireworks over the Laguna Madre every Thursday and Friday night at 9.15 p.m. at Louis' Backyard. This restaurant, sports bar complex is the perfect place to have dinner and watch the fireworks. Louis is known for its seafood buffet and is also a popular spot for music and nightlife later in the evening.